All right, well, let's head into chapter two. Oh, right back into Saga. He didn't have a heart, but he still got up. The page predicted all of it. It helped me fight him. Oh, oh, oh. He, he just disappeared? What the hell is going on here? We need to figure that out if we're going to do anything about it. Somehow we need to make sense of this. Oh my fucking god, I've got eight, eight quick slots. Yeah! Oh god, how much shit am I going to be able to equip in this game? There is no rational explanation to what we just saw. I'd love to blame this on mass hallucination caused by inhaling volcanic gas, but we both know that's bullshit. This was supernatural. Well, I'm glad you were the one to say it. <laughs> now we can figure out a way forward. Right before things got crazy, Sheriff Breaker just vanished. Maybe the Sheriff knew more than he was letting on. Hmm. He seemed anxious, like he dreaded what was coming. One more mystery. Well, he knew something, because he, obviously this shit happened in, uh... There you before. Oh, another manuscript page. The victim of a ritualistic murder turns into a monster. Is there a connection? Looks to me like the cult of the tree is performing rituals to create monsters. Hmm, maybe. We need to start with learning this cult's goal, their purpose. Well, maybe this manuscript page on the floor will tell us. There's one of the pages on the floor. Saga was back at Cauldron Lake. Saga had to pursue Nightingale into the overlap. Finding a way in would be difficult. A ritual. Saga would learn how. Stop the monster. You want me to do a ritual to get into the lake? Saga was back at the Cauldron Lake. He was there too. Nightingale was, but wasn't. A Taken. A creature of darkness. He was beyond her reach. Where some other strange reality, the Dark Place, merged with ours. This place and the Dark Place. A tarp thrown over top, drowning everything beneath it. A flood of darkness, soaking in everything, spoiling it, rotting it. The page called this area an overlap. Saga had to pursue Nightingale into the overlap. Finding a way in would be difficult. Required precise steps. A ritual. Saga would learn how. Stop the monster. Her job. Before he killed again. He'd be inside, waiting for her. Alright, and then we have this. The autopsy room oh shit, we can click on these! Like a bomb had gone off. Nightingale hunted Saga. Didn't see her under the light. Lurched past her. The Taken could not see into bright light. The light hurt them. Hurt the darkness in them. Made them vulnerable. I flick the switch. It goes click. Show me the clicker. Lights are off, but somebody's home. Hemingway brought you here, witch. Get out of my house! Nightingale shouted. A wave of terror crashed through Saga's head. The awful truth. Nightingale had no heart in his chest. But here he was, killing a monster. The world had lurched out of balance. You found yourself trapped on the far side of the mirror. Oh. Well, all right. I appreciate it. They did the, uh... Oh, shit. Sorry, I just instinctually, the uh, fucking, like, gnat or something flew in front of me, and I just instant grabbed it. And then I shocked myself when I opened my hand and the bug was in my hand. <laughs> But, um, <laughs> what? <laughs> that threw me off. Um, there's like no button prompt that indicates that clicking on these reads them out. So, like, that was an accident that I discovered it. But that, that I, I appreciate that. Because uh, I thought it was going to be set up in a way that, like, we hear just bits and pieces, then we have to manually read it. Uh, which is fine, I was fine doing that. But I am much more down to have Alan Wake read the whole damn thing, especially if there's going to be, the like, visuals to it. FBI Special Agent Robert Nightingale. Okay, now... missing here 13 years ago. Not really listening to the ones I read through. Um, if they're not going to be, like, super different visuals. But, obviously, with all the shots of the owl, and with the lyrics of the end chapter one song being, like, follow the deer to follow the owl, I assume that we're the deer?
give or take, you know, our character likes touching like the taxidermy deers in places. Oh no, we gotta pull out the cult of the tree. Uh, cult goal. Yeah, that sounded about right for that to go there. Uh, cult ritual, what is it? Oh, we gotta put all this stuff here, holy shit. Hmm. Uh, Nanaka was the only victim to become a monster. There we go. Why? Is it because Pink. of the ritual? Whoops. And then cult symbol. Nice. Alright, I'm putting the pieces where they need to be. <laughs> Figure out where Nightingale went. Okay, that well that means I need to look around. I don't need to be in my mind place anymore. I don't even know the names of all the people who got fucking the killed. Here. Is gone too. Did the fucker take it with him? Did he take his own heart back? <laughs> Maybe he still shoved it back inside of his his chest cavity. Well, that didn't have anything in it. Okay. <laughs> Can't be opened on this side. Well, anybody who runs the morgue ever again is gonna make sure it's always well lit damn well okay hold up we did have a thing the manuscript said uh a dead man turned into a monster that he's at the lake. As a way to fight him. Pages predicting the future? There's no rational explanation. This is the case we must solve. Where did Nightingale go? Well, I want to enter Exhibit A. The manuscript page saying he went to the fucking lake. According to the page, it sounds like Nightingale went back to Cauldron Lake, and he's a... Taken? The overlap? What? These pages aren't making sense. No, we're going into the fucking under... <laughs> the Underdark or whatever. Nightingale attacked us. A corpse attacked us. I used his sensitivity to light to fight him off, but he got away. I need to hunt him down and figure out what the fuck is going on here. The page places Nightingale back at Cauldron Lake. Calls him a Taken. We need to head over there, stop him, before anyone else gets hurt. Okay. Alright, now all we have to do is move this uh, body out of the way. We heard gunshots, y'all okay? Did you get spooked by the bodies? Sheriff Breaker disappeared. Nightingale turned into some sort of a monster and there are offices down. You two handle things here. We need to get back to Cauldron Lake immediately. Fuck me. That's terrible. We'll do what we can, man. Thank you, Thornton and uh, Mulligan. Oh, but that's crazy, right, Thornton? Nightingale's heart was missing. How could he do anything? He's dead. That got summarized in yeah, me right. saying he turned into a monster. That's Crazy talk. Monsters aren't real, and what do you mean the the sheriff disappeared? He did like just. Puff? He's gone like magic. Yeah. Magic's not real. Well. Magic's not real, right? Mulligan. <laughs> no, Thorn. Monsters aren't real, and magic's definitely not real. <laughs> I knew that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> to be fair, from what we know from the FBC, this might not necessarily be something to categorize as, like, magic or, like, dark magic. You know, it is the paranatural 
other world entities interacting with ours, and it just so happens. I need something to cut this. That uh, those interactions turn people into rambling monsters that are almost zombie-like. But for the sake of things, it's just dark magic. They're a fine pair. Easier to explain it that way. Hey, how you doing? Well, the people got like really excited that like shining a light through this uh, water cooler has the light like bounce inside of it and look really cool. My settings aren't like maxed out, so like I don't, I don't, I don't get the full effect. But we can kind of see it. That's cool. My client has been held here long enough. Are you gonna let me speak to them or not? Uh, just a moment, ma'am. Someone will be right with you. Where the fuck is Sarah? Oh, we needed a map for the sheriff station. Oh shit. Well, that's intriguing. I accept where, hold on, there's a point of interest over here, I guess it's inside of Sheriff Tim Breaker's room. How many room. times do we have to do this, Walter, huh? I'm at my wits end with you. I want out! Something bad's going down! I can feel it! Let me out! Hey, your sensors are on point, prisoner. Something bad is about to happen. Nightingale and his cult are dangerous. We need to be prepared in case things escalate more than they already have. Can you call it in, Casey? A smart choice, Anderson. Maybe we can get some reinforcements yeah, from the FBC. Casey here. Yeah. We need backup. The Bright Falls case. Whoever you can spare. ASAP. Think we'll actually find Nightingale at the lake? The pages haven't been wrong yet. We can't assume the person writing these pages isn't playing us. I agree. But it's our best lead. Well, hold on, let me take a look over here. Did they ever get that old junker out? Looks like they did. Went into this little backyard area a couple of times, and then we came out through this gate and fought through the town. I'm gonna take a quick look around. Meet you back at the car. See you in a bit. I'm gonna take a look around the available town, because things might change between us coming in and out of the area. I don't think... I don't think I can go down this road. Yep! This can't be the right way. <laughs> Forced to turn around! Good, good work. You, you, you're, you're definitely making sure that fence stays up. Do not enter a wrong way. You're not the boss of me. I'm an FBI agent. Ah, shit. I guess I don't want to go that way. Welcome back, and boy, do we have some breaking news that's sure to knock your socks off. Davis family beef jerky will now be available at the Sunday market in three delicious flavors. That's right, our favorite sponsor, Davis Family Beef Jerky, can now be enjoyed in smoked hickory, teriyaki, and hickory teriyaki. Hickory teriyaki! I was here at the Valhalla Nursing Home and thought I'd catch up with one of our residents to get her thoughts. Donna, how are you? I've got chronic back pain from my spinal stenosis. Oh dear. You know, when I'm feeling stiff, I find a light snack helps. 
So, did you try that beef jerky? No. Lunch is at 11, and I wanted to save my appetite because today was the fish soup with crackers. You're allowed up to four crackers, but I only take one unless I have a glass of cranberry juice. They have a of cranberry juice at breakfast, which is at 7. I didn't take the oatmeal today because it makes me gassy before cribbage, and I can't... So you didn't try the jerky? Got it. Oh, <laughs> well, that's... Too bad, Donna. Their new teriyaki flavor sure does hit the spot. They had teriyaki salmon with rice on Friday's dinner menu. Dinner's at five, but we all know the salmon takes longer to prepare, and then you're late for bingo. And who needs all that spice? Okay, teriyaki is a shit flavor. <laughs> is that tapio? How are you on the line? I couldn't end the call. You've been on the phone this entire time? Yes! <laughs> and I hate teriyaki. Well, it's delicious on jerky. So, let's give a big thank you to Wendy Davis for these samples. Wendy? No, that can't be right. Wendy went missing in 2010. I heard she's dead. No, I'm, I'm referring to Wendy Davis from our sponsor, Davis Family Beef Jerky. Wendy Davis, that's the dead one. That's the dead one. She's dead. Right. Well, that's our time. Remember to keep your coffee warm and your chin up because that sun shines right around the corner. Pat Main signing off. Why does Pat sound drunk? And why are you selling out so hard for the, <laughs> the beef jerky? Shut the fuck up in there! We're not a threat! <laughs> Take care now. <laughs> I think the dog has some criticisms about Pat Main's show, and, and I think maybe it wants some beef jerky. Uh. Well, that. I, you know, I guess we're doing some construction work. Can I access this area back here and get anything? Any other stashes? Where's the Alex Casey yeah. lunchboxes? Uh oh. Hello. This is the same symbol as that cult necklace. And these cultists get around. Can I slip into the fence from back here? Wait, the junker is still here. It's just been moved in the corner. And those cult symbols are back there too. Son of a gun. We're gonna have to go behind the sheriff's office. Or while well, the police department. Excuse me, ma'am. Did you lose your phone? Yako, we're going to a cool guy's house to drink some brewskis. Are you coming? No, Ilmo. I'm very busy wearing a turtleneck and drinking wine. Wow, Yako. Like an asshole. <laughs> oh, that dear. sounds like a good time, Yako. Yako needs. I'm a beer to the rescue. Bring out your inner Wolverine with I'm a beer. Wow, this is the best party ever. Thanks, Ahma Beer. <laughs> Ahma Beer is a traditional Finnish lager, and we drink it the Finnish way. At the bar, while actively avoiding small talk with strangers. Getting blackout drunk on a boat during midsummer, and trying not to drown. In the sauna, using your beer can to hide your pippeli from wandering eyes. Partaking in the Finnish tradition of Kalsari Kennet, drinking at home alone in your underwear with no intentions of going out. It's not sad if it's intentional. <laughs> it's not sad oh, if it's your intentional. Your drinking adventure starts here. <laughs> hey, how you doing? Oh my God, what a <laughs> what a commercial. Hey Rose, you know anything about like dark monsters? And zombies arising from the dead. Hey, that couple is gone. Hello! Is there... It said there's a new conversation here. But there's no one for me to talk to. So I've been lied to. Hi! 
Oh, whoa! I'm gonna snoop on your phone here real quick. Oh, we're just going through your apps, huh? Oh, okay, that's 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 fun, exciting. All right, all right. What about you? Probably also going through our apps. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, they didn't make anything different for each phone. That's fine, understandable. Hi, friend. Are you enjoying your soup? Can I have your muffin? I'm about to have to go fight against a scary entity out at Cauldron Lake. And I could use a snack. Oh, wait. I was just about to leave, but I've noticed we've got this little... Uh... Bodoga? Bodega? Here? Grand opening. The Founders Park was relocated here as our small town keeps growing. We are sure you'll find this placement for the park every bit as, re as wonderful and relaxing as the previous one. Welcome to the new and improved Founders Park. It's kind of small. Three benches. It's so quiet here now that the minister flew over the Rainbow Bridge. Oh. Do you fellas ever miss them? Do you miss your parents? Remember to have some sustenance, my little ones. It'll keep you warm and full of energy. It'll keep you soaring in the sky. You don't want to plummet down to the ground. Trust me. It's not nice down here. Much better in the clouds. Yeah, you're right. It's not nice down here. Get out of here, birds! Skedaddle! Now why did you go and do that? <laughs> you're stomping around like that and scaring the poor little thing. <laughs> A life lived with the birds is not for the birds. Alright, I just wanted to check this thing out, you know, maybe see if there's any, like, documents or other pages. Alright, things are pretty sparse. We're heading out of here. Hold up, I gotta snip this person's satellite TV cable or something. Just, <laughs> Honey, the direct TV's out! Can't access Cartoon Network channel 237 anymore. I actually don't fucking remember the channel numbers for direct TV channels anymore. It's been so long. But they were like somewhere say it was always between like 200 to 400. Those were the channels that were like the ones I watched the most. You had Comedy Central, Cartoon Network, the Discovery Channel, all the other Discovery I think I saw something. It'll only take a minute. Channel adjacent stuff. How about that weather forecast for Deerfest? I've been working on this float for a month straight. If it rains, I am going to lose it. It'll ruin all the paper mache. That shit is delicate. Well, make it I'm out sure of stuff. We'll get a nice sunny day. That doesn't oh, get rained so on. Now you're a meter of uh, a meteor. Uh, a meteor. A meteor. <laughs> he gave up on it. Did you hear something over by the sheriff station? Nope. It better not have anything to do with Deerfest. They need to keep their messes out of my festival. Oh, we're taking a selfie with the birds? Sir, this is FBI. This is an FBI investigate. You're not even in your phone app. We've got plenty more to do here before we can call it a day. Tell me about it. My float's not even close to finished. So much to do still. So much stress. So close to Deerfest. Jeez Louise. <laughs> All these random people standing around make me feel like they're going to have their own little conversations too. But then they don't. Hey, where did Charlie and Charlene go? I mean, if no one's here, I, I, the coffee's free, right? Good to see you. Did you get lost, Anderson? Did you check out the town, Anderson? Just getting my bearings. Ready to go? Waiting on you. Mm, the car can be used to travel between locations. Like a fast yeah. travel. Rinse and repeat. Clock out, get a beer. Well, maybe three. Take me to Godrin Lake. I wonder if there's any driving segments in this game. They might be gone entirely. 
I need to come clean, Anderson. What's up, Alex? I know why Nightingale was here 13 years ago. He was chasing a writer, Alan Wake. Tammy mentioned him. She's writing a book on his disappearance. You know the detective character from his books, Alex Casey. Yeah, I've heard the jokes at the office. Cold Case Casey. Murder Case Casey. <laughs> Sorry. Ha <laughs> ha. It's the same name, similar job. It's the first thing anyone thinks of. It annoyed me, but that was it. Then, ten years ago, I started getting strange letters in the mail. Fragments of prose describing murders. You've heard the stories about what happened in New York. Some of it, at least. Bodies started to pile up. It was a murder cult. Turns out the fragments sent to me were from the crime books of Alan Wake. The cult was copycatting the murders from the books. In their heads, they were performing a ritual to bring Wake back. Wow. Their imagined prophet. After that case, I started looking into Wake's disappearance on the side. And you thought this case might be connected to him? His name does keep popping up. I just wanted you to have all the facts. Next time, give them to me before we find ourselves in the middle of a horror story. Yeah, it'd be nice to know a little bit more information before being attacked by, by a zombie. For all intents and purposes, that's what he is. Return to the heart. The page says Nightingale's in something called an overlap. Need to figure out exactly what that means. I'm happy I'm not in charge of this mess. Thanks. Let's start looking for Nightingale where he was killed. The writer of these pages knows what will happen. Because they're behind this, or because they can see what's coming. Impossible things are happening here. A world operating on different rules. I need to understand this strange logic. To see the clues. To solve the case. All right, some things have shifted on the map a little bit. Now there's these points of interest at the, the general store. So I'm guessing some stuff did in fact change since the last time we were here. Dude, sunset is brighter than earlier in the day here. <laughs> in terms of just like how the sun is affecting things from the sky. I like it though. I've been thinking more about the cult of the tree. Eh, yeah, maybe not. What sort of cult refers to themselves as a cult? A few of them actually. My experience, they don't. What the? We're not seeing the full picture yet. I didn't mean to pull out my gun. I tried to focus hey, focus on there. my camera. How are you folks doing? Those restricted area signs don't do a damn thing, huh? Unless these are work people working for the FBC. Hey, who the hell are you guys? Hello. Saga Anderson. Are you two supposed to be here? I'm Ilmo Koskela. Fantastic to meet you. And yes, Stephen here hired me to show him through the woods. He's in town on important government business. Fixing this impressive piece of hardware. I work for the FBC, ma'am. I'm authorized to be here. And I bet you two are here about that murder. Nasty stuff. How's it going? How did you hear about the murder, Ilmo? Do you know anything that could help us? People tend to tell me things. The Koskala brothers are kind of a household name around here. Speaking of... Uh, if you're looking for some fun, stop by Watery. Just down the road from Bright Falls, there's our Coffee World Amusement Park. Coffee there's World Amusement sauna, Park? Sauna de Vista. <laughs> and we offer a variety of guided tours, hunting, fishing, hiking, whatever strikes your fancy. You name it, we probably got it. Thanks. I'll maybe try and check it out. What, what's going on with this, Steven? What is this thing? It's just a monitoring station, ma'am. The Federal Bureau of Control checks volcanic activity and air toxicity levels. No need to worry, though. It's mostly for research purposes. That's one gorgeous wetter saga. 
Looks Nordic. I bet a family member made it. My... My... Oh, the sweater underneath my fucking... I didn't even know I had a sweater here! <laughs> my mother made this sweater for me. How do you know? I knew it. My mom used to knit those sweaters for me and my brother. Watery. My hometown was founded by Finnish immigrants. So between your name and the sweater, I figured your family might be from Finland too. Suomi, Finland. Ulla, Karjalan <laughs> Close. My mom's family is from Sweden originally. I don't know much about them beyond that. The sweater is just something to remember her by. All right, so hey, 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 what about the Federal Bureau of Control? Stephen, we're investigating a murder that occurred nearby. What can you tell me about your bureau? Nothing that isn't classified, I'm afraid. But I don't know anything about a murder. Operations here are run by a different department. I'm just here to make some repairs. The wiring on this thing frays every couple months. Yep, that's the raccoons. They grow real big here with teeth like you wouldn't believe. Can not run through a garbage can. Yeesh. Okay, we're done for now. Can I go inside of this thing? Oh, wowie. Nice. I was about to go out and hear the rest of their conversation. All right. Maintenance note. Clear signs of tampering. Signal was rerouted into a transmitter that is not one of ours. I fixed it so any alerts will come our way, but it's definitely concerning. I'll make a report for the investigations department. Leaving this here in case I'm not the next person to fix this thing. If you're reading this, check for tampering. We may want to put them, uh, put more secure metal casings around the whole thing so that the raccoons can't get to it anymore. Stephen Lin, Chief Technician. Dude, Ahma beer. Oh, now we're talking. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm down for some beer. We can have some beer later. Okay, Stephen. I'll give you like 15 more seconds or so. Then. To, like say anything. Obviously, you know, for the people who, who might not be aware, uh, which is totally possible, Alan Wake and Control, the game Control, uh, are connected. They're in the same universe. And so the Federal Bureau of Control is the agency from, well, Control. <laughs> and they're clearly getting a little bit more interaction here because they locked down the Bright Falls area after the Alan Wake case. And they're fully aware of what's going on somewhat with Alan Wake. So I'm interested to see Let's if they'll the actually side, jump in and help us out or if they're just going to do the whole like, oh, yeah, we're just here. We're 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 just here to A observe a volcanic activity, guys. Me. But one thing feels really off. Breaker's disappearance. I don't get the feeling Nightingale was responsible. Hmm. He was about to give you more of those pages. Something didn't want us to have them? Or was protecting him from Nightingale? Spontaneous combustion? I don't know. I, not the kind of disappearance we normally solve. Yeah, I was very surprised to see him literally just poof out of existence. I mean, not like, like a poof of smoke, but just... The light went out, and then he wasn't there. He might, it, uh oh, this, this wasn't flooded before. Our crime scene's drowning. I never minded rain. Feels like home. No sign of Nightingale. But the page did place him at Cauldron Lake, in an overlap. So how do we follow him there? Maybe something around here will tell us. Well, what do we have on here? We've seen this symbol before. Hmm. Good eye. Yeah, we couldn't see it before because the body was on here. Wow. Monsters? Overlaps? Rituals? What do you make of all of this? Hmm. The killers are usually the ones performing the ritual, not the detective. Acting out their sick fantasy. They may be trying to get you involved. Forcing you into their twisted world. But with dead men coming alive... The word ritual starts to have more weight behind it. We need to look around, learn what this ritual is. After we find Nightingale, what then? 
I've never arrested a monster. I've watched you arrest plenty of monsters, Anderson. You know what I mean. Monster monsters. Light worked against him at the morgue. That might be the only way to stop him from hurting anyone else. Yeah, light, maybe some flare guns. Ooh, some footprints, huh? I wonder if anyone will answer at the FPC buzzer. Hold on. Gotta give him an extra ring. You know, maybe we can give him a heads up. Hey, guys. Uh, there's a monster on the loose, so... Be careful if anyone's in there. All right, you get one more beep. Ignoring all three of the beeps from the FBI's. Well, that's the warning. You can't say you haven't been told. I hope we don't have to run into any more hiss combined with darkness monsters. Bare feet. Nightingale. I'll see where these footprints lead. Can you come through the crime scene one more time, KC? Just in case? On it. If anything comes up, I'll radio you. Thanks, KC. Going on a little solo investigation. Where do these footprints lead? They're almost a little hard to see, but... Uh, they are going... Towards the witch sign and witch ladle. Mm. We've got one singular light out here. Oh, it's so nice. Like a slice of heaven. I feel so secure. All right, anything new in here? Because there's two icons on this place. And there was a locked door before. Damn it. What are these points of interest that I'm just not getting? Maybe the one over here is outside. I can't go back there. Huh. I'm just not seeing anything new to interact with. The safe? Nope. Alrighty. Weird. But considering with this bright ass light source over here, we might run back up this path and then things will be around. Maybe I should call David, see how Logan's doing. They're fine, Anderson. What's got you so worried? I just feel bad being gone so long. I've never taken a case this far from them. Ah, they can manage without you for a few days. Yeah, but then there's also the fact that that you know, Rose Lady at the diner said that my my daughter drowned. What was with that? Not a fun thing to say to someone you meet for the first time. The water. Where'd you go from here? Came back to the lake. Whoa! Jesus fucking I can feel something. Christ! Unnecessary. Presence. Nightingale isn't far. Hey, some supplies, camping, do's and don'ts. Well, I'm not reading all that. I'm just taking this. Fine, you want me to profile you? What's going on with you, Nightingale? I know Nightingale is somewhere around Cauldron Lake. The tree was a threshold. This place and the dark place. <laughs> You're in over your head. Next stop, Caldera Street Station. The Threshold. 
like a doorway, leading to Nightingale. It's somehow connected to a tree. The ladle? Which is ladle? I was heading over there anyway, so yeah. Nightingale, are you, are you out there? Where's the tree? It's behind me. But the area is kind of changed a little bit. Here we go. Oh. What is that? Is that a page or these aren't the same tracks that were here before they're headed into the tree not out of it you can toggle flashlight boost to increase damage to darkness and burn through dark substance what happens if i just touch it i can't touch it <laughs> my flashlight burned the dark stuff away it was covering another page the fuse was in place Saga stepped into the witch's hut. Inside, a bright light. There were objects that stood out to Saga, as if the light had manifested them. The witch's hut. Okay. I trust the pages to lead me to the overlap. Eh, yeah, hold on. The fuse was in place. She found it among the junk in the forest. Saga stepped inside the witch's hut. Something rushed through her. A presence. Familiar. She couldn't quite place it, something long forgotten. She tried to hold on to it, but it was already gone. Inside, a bright light. Saga felt safe, like nothing could hurt her here. There were objects that stood out to Saga as if the light had manifested them, pulled them from the darkness. A shift in reality, heavy with hidden meanings. A coffee thermos, a shoebox, a mop and a bucket, a poster on the wall, and in the cabinet, Another manuscript page. <laughs> Hold on. What about a mop in a bucket? Is Adi around? Is that what that's about? Oh, we got more information on the cult. Here have some more of your cult symbols. There we go. Cult's use of imagery feels almost like a commercial. Like branding. That can go under psychology. Nice. Is that everything? Okay, now there's two more of that. One more of this. One more cult goal. Ton about the cult ritual and wow, what, what we're looking for. And a lot of who's involved. Holy shit. What if I want to... Can I click on these other maps? I guess it doesn't matter. Like, we can look at them like this. Oh no, okay, here we go. It is possible to, like, click in on the other ones and look at them even when you're not there. Which is good, considering if we look at this, we are seeing... I missed a couple objects in the autopsy room. Oh, <laughs> jeez. I appreciate that. That I... They gave me the information. Oh shit, my flashlight doesn't recharge in this game. Huh. I'm going to be very careful with my flashlight boosting. Maybe light sources will restore some of it. We'll see. One of the chief problems in, in Alan Wake 1 was that it was super forgiving in a lot of ways so I, I understand why they they're making some of these changes oh, now I'm scared because I put this it on hard mode hot. Anderson thought I saw something in the woods probably just a deer but I'm gonna check it out okay I found another page following up on a lead Keep checking in. Roger. The fuse box is missing a fuse. I need to find one to turn on the lights. Well, it might be over here at this little campsite. This fuse is busted. 
Uh, I think we've read this one. Yep. The person who got rejected. This one looks good. Nice. People should really stop littering, though. Well, to be fair with this one, this one might have come from the the witch's hut, in which case someone might have just lived here. But yes, there's a lot of trash out here. Oh, right, I gotta put the, <laughs> the fuse in over here. The break room is a place where you can save your progress. Oh, cool. Quick save. Manual save. Does that mean if I had, like, quit out prior to this, I wouldn't have had saves? Oh, geez. Another page. Making progress. Um. That's concerning. Not the page thing, but the, the saving image of the thing. witch in the sign. Saga addressed the witch. The smudged line on the heart. The second part recited from memory. I brought you the heart, witch. Show me the terror. Saga pushed the heart through the hole in the sign. So I gotta... I gotta get that heart back. Witch's ladle. Towering over Saga. Watching her and the witch, the image of the witch in the sign, Nightingale's heart, a cold, dead lump in her hand. Her definition of sanity had changed since she arrived in this town, but she trusted the pages, was forced to. Saga addressed the witch. She squinted to read the first part of the ritual words, the smudged line on the heart. The second part recited from memory, the words she had read on the page. I brought you the heart, witch. Show me the terror. Saga pushed the heart through the hole in the sign. This was the key. The tree was the threshold. <laughs> We're gonna get in trouble. We're just outright fucking with darkness and stuff, or at least the witch, whatever that's about. All right, well, if I don't have the heart, that means I have to get the heart. So does that mean Nightingale's gonna attack me over here in the water? I should probably use one of those, like, whoops, trauma pad things, right? Quick slot. Or. Oh, God, you actually have to swap to it and then click. Oh, boy. They're really going in the. Horror survival action, or rather direction for this game. This wasn't on before. Well... I don't have Nightingale's heart, but I have pictures of the heart. I don't think that counts. Interpret the page's meaning. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> All right. I've got to do some interpreting. Yep. Already got the answers to these. Oh, nice. If you're like super ahead on some of this stuff, she just throws everything on there herself. That, that, that makes me feel a little better. <laughs> the page from the witch's hut seems to be describing some kind of ritual. What is the ritual? We've got these. Yes. Nightingale's heart disappeared from the morgue. Where is it now? To get into the overlap, I need to find Nightingale's heart. Read the line imprinted on it, plus the line on the page to the witch's ladle sign. Then push the heart through the hole in the sign. We're so informed. <laughs> we know so much more than Alan Wake ever really knew going forward. Where could Nightingale be? I need be? Nightingale's heart to get to the overlap. Where is it? The cultist leaned close. He was there, but he was risen. Nightingale was.
was there. The opposite of sunspots. Who said that? That's not it. I don't have what I need to find Nightingale's heart. There must be more. Nightingale's heart. <laughs> just, Where is it? I delve even further? While they played cards in the general store. The witch had stolen his heart. Get out of my house. Oh. Nightingale's heart is at the general store. In a fridge. What? That's an interesting spot. Okay, so that's what the point of interest shit is. His heart's in the general store. Uh, oh, there was a container. I need to check the general store for the heart. Back at the witch's hut. Hold up. I, I need to go to Casey, the... Casey, I'm headed to the general store. I think I know how to get into the overlap. Roger that. I followed some May TV tracks in the woods and got a bit turned around. Did you get lost? I've only been lost once in my life, Anderson. The years I spent with my ex-wife. <laughs> I'll find my way back, don't you worry about it. Sheesh, Casey. <clears throat> don't forget to save often! Or what game? When I die, I have to go back super far, because, you know, I'm down, I'm down, I get it, I get it. Does this lead back around to the general store? It does. I like feel like I just saw something over here. I guess not. Okay. I I thought I saw like a something glint behind that that bush. Can I fire while Oh, we have a melee. All right. Nightingale mentioned the general store. I need to check it out. I'm about to get assaulted. Hello? Any cultists in here? Maybe just a stray dog rolling. Christ. Oh, it's a deer. Oh my God. All right. Whoa! Shit! Right. In the wall! Toggle flashlight boost to burn through the darkness surrounding enemies. Ah! A cultist. A monster. Like Nightingale. Oh, there's the heart. And I guess now it's time for us to start running into these enemies. Oh, jeez. Ooh, a shotgun. Oh, son of a bitch. Check with Lady Fortuna at the counter. Okay. I should check this manuscript page first, right? Hmm. Well, here we go. Saga edged toward the broken door, her gun ready, flashlight aimed ahead. Nightingale said it would be here. The Cauldron Lake General Store was overgrown, left to rot. Saga thought about the cult of the tree. They'd been here, waiting, planning a gruesome ritual murder. Meanwhile, they played cards in the general store, like it was just another late night poker game. Saga stepped closer to the door. Had the animal broken it? There was a loud crash. Saga found herself face to face with a cultist, a hulking figure in a raincoat. We watch in the night, wild eyes behind a plastic deer mask, an ax in his raised hand. That's interesting that the manuscript got put in return one rather than in return two. Huh. But all right. Do I got anything in here? Maybe some bullets, some batteries? Fucking absolutely nothing. What the fuck? Just give me the heart. Oh, right. All 
Alright, good to know. Battery seems to fully... The text on the heart is clearer now. Legible. The wave crashed on the far side of the mirror. Well, I should... Yeah, I should take it. I feel like I recognize this. The fridge. The heart. I knew it would be here. Like I saw it in a dream. A little bit of deja vu. But I, I basically don't need to I use need my... To give the heart to the witch. Makes total sense. Save my battery until my thing is fully empty. And then, well, at that point, it automatically uses it anyways. Oh, nice. I got a bigger inventory. I haven't even... <laughs> All right. It hadn't even become a problem yet. Lady Fortuna. Don't forget update code. Lotto Washington. Oh, geez. Well, maybe it's... Oh, shit. Over here? Lady Fortuna? Madam Agniska? Palm reading and crystal ball gazing. Interpreter of dreams. 202-555-0137. These numbers match the ones on the lotto ticket. Yeah, if anyone... Oh, oh, there we go. Fuck yeah, brute forcing. I got a shotgun. You can quick slot weapons from the inventory. You can also quick slot healing items and throwable weapons. Oh, jeez. Well, you know, here's what I'll do. We'll move this over here. And then put these up here. Quick slot. This can go on two. Okay. I don't what was what was the code there? I'm gonna go look at this. Oh, I can't look at it anymore. No. All right. Casey, there are cultists in the area. They're taken, like Nightingale. Watch yourself out there. Yeah, thanks for the heads up. I'm still finding my way back. You have the worst sense of direction. <laughs> Any city in America I can get through drunk and blindfolded. It's these damn trees. Okay, okay. I'm en route to Witch's Ladle. I need to perform a ritual to open the overlap. This case just keeps getting weirder. But it is exciting. <laughs> Come on, map. I believe in you. Thank you. All right, we gotta hook a left. I want to go to the witch's hut and save. I'm gonna obsessively save. They don't. They don't limit it. Although I am sad, uh, we don't get, like, any health back when we visit these things. I hope that, unlike the Resident Evil remakes, well, at least Resident Evil 2 and 3 remake, uh, I hope headshots do more damage in this. Hello? Cultist? Oh shit. Okay, we've got uh at least two taken. I'm trying to keep an eye out to see if there's a third. Ugh. 
What if I melee you back? Space allows you to dodge enemy attacks. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, Jesus, wait, what? It gave me a tutorial problem, but I don't know what for. Alright. Using a trauma pack will allow you to heal. Applying a trauma pad takes longer, but grants a larger health benefit. Wait, what? What the fuck? So there's a difference? I guess if I do... Wait, huh? I'm... I'm so... Confused on like what it was trying to tell me there. I guess fuck it. Because obviously, I want the maximum value per trauma pack. I think what it's trying to tell me is that there's like a quick heal and then there's like a apply the heal slowly, but I don't know how to fucking quick heal. It was like, oh, press control. But pressing control opens up the inventory. Which you would then just manually equip the fucking thing and then do the slow heal. So I'm really fucking confused about what the fuck it's even trying to tell me there. Uh, is there... Okay, hold on. Uh... <laughs> Okay, this is funny that it's showing me, like, an Alan Wake segment here for the tutorial. They didn't think that maybe that would be a, um... A bit spoilery. Hey, look, here's Alan Wake going into a break room. Alan Wake using quick slots. Oh, we're gonna get a crossbow later. Wow. This is, this is a weird choice. I would have, I would have made all of these from like the first segment like this. Uh, use space to dodge enemy attacks. Dodging does not create much distance between you and the enemy. So timing it correctly is important. All right, perfect dodge. Perfect dodge is achieved by dodging away from an enemy's charge attack at the last moment. Doing so successfully will send the enemy stumbling, momentarily incapacitating it. I'm gonna fucking die so many times in this game. Heavy attacks will knock you to the ground. While on the ground, you can move sideways and backwards, or dodge away from the threat. You can't use any items while on the ground. While knocked to the ground, use dodge to avoid enemy uh, enemies' follow-up attacks. Dodging will also allow you to get back to your feet uh, quicker. Grapple. Enemies can grapple you if you get too close to them. Once you are grappled, some enemies will throw you to the ground while others will hold you in place. You can use a hand flare to escape a grapple, which will prevent the enemy from attacking you and leave you unharmed. Escaping an enemy's grapple hold without using a hand flare will cause you to lose health in the process. Damn. Okay, well tell me about melee. Use melee to attack with the flashlight. The melee attack is a desperate one-off attack which deals minor damage to an enemy and can temporarily stun them. See, I like the sound of that. Charms can be attached to Saga's charm bracelet in the inventory. Each charm gives different benefits. Healing items can be most efficiently equipped and used after assigning them to quick slots in the inventory. Painkillers can be quickly consumed in combat to instantly restore a small amount of health and replenish additional health over time. The trauma pad is an adhesive bandage that takes longer to apply but restores a good amount of health. The first aid kit takes time to apply but restores health fully. Using the first aid kit in combat is extremely difficult unless the enemy is incapacitated. Both Saga and Alan can discover upgrades increasing the effectiveness of healing items. Well, that's nice. Do I even have any painkillers currently? Not like really. And I'm still so hung up on that. Ooh. 
weird tutorial about like applying. It should have just told me, hey, equip your healing item and use it to heal for a lot. And that's all, that's all I needed to know. Here. Have a heart. The wave crashed on the far side of the mirror. I brought you the heart, witch. Show me the terror. I hope we're not bringing the darkness back via Barbara Jagger. Overlap. Are you still on your way? Casey! Casey, do you read me? Fuck. Okay, Saga. Going in solo. Yeah, maybe we should have radioed him before going into... Logan? The creepy-ass tree. Logan! Where are you? Logan, you should be here. What the fuck was that? Logan's back in Virginia. You're imagining things. What if I just, uh... Keep it going through the, the ladle over and over again? Would you please help me? Alan? What was that? I'm trying, buddy, but, uh... We're Wait. Saga isn't fully sure what the fuck's Did going on. Did I get on. turned around? No, this is right. This place is looping. Like a nightmare. Nah. It takes so much to get rid of the darkness. It's almost like it's gotten stronger. Need to find Nightingale. Nightingale enters the lake. The writer went into the lake, banished the dark presence. Taken still lurked in the woods. The dark place receded. The current pulled back those with darkness inside. Into the lake. Nightingale was there. One of them. The dark presence. Jagger had taken him. The witch had stolen his heart. They sank beneath the waves. The dark place. Wandering in the shadows, muttering to themselves. It's dark. I'm lost. Where am I? Who am I? I can't remember. It's cold. Premium cabins for rent in Bright Falls. Who said that? Can you hear me? I need help. Please, stop this. What did I do? You must dig it out. Their shape shifted, echoes of the writer's dreams, fading in, fading out, the next story and the story after that, the writer was writing again. You must dig it out. What are we trying to dig out of? Out of here. I think I walked by an abandoned general store near the murder site. How did this get here from the morgue? Did Nightingale hide it here? How is this possible? Did the page do this? Donna's Jerky Review. Adventure Tours. No, we're good. Can I afford upgrades yet? Uh oh. Out of action. Deals increased damage to enemies that are stunned, blind, or knocked down. Ready for more. Kill an enemy to restore health. The amount of restored health depends on the strength of the enemy. More than likely, I'm going to end up going for just another headshot first. Whoa. 
Whoa. Was that another image of the dark place? Is Alan's dark place now resembling more of like a town? New York City? Nightingale, wait! Come back, we can put you out of your misery! He's here, Nightingale. I really could have sworn Nightingale had made it out of, of this and then maybe like... Trapped here. Who escaped? Danger. Who is that? It's like they're coming in over a bad signal. Yeah, why couldn't Alan have wrote, you know, wrote it to be a little bit clear? It's like, yeah, we're making our way there. We're getting to him. Yeah, it was the balance of things, right? He had to do give and take. To really take advantage of the power of the dark place. Nightingale's badge. Oh, thanks, Nightingale. Shotgun ammo, battery bag. Do I have two different types of trauma pads? Okay, as you see, I guess you can only carry two per stack. to find the clicker, huh? The, uh, the weapon of mass light creation? Dark destruction? We're getting close. What is this train station about? Fuck, he's scared. <laughs> Aim at the enemy's source points to deal devastating damage. Are you devastated yet? Ugh. Shit. Oh my. Run! Run! Fucking Get where? To safety. Ugh. Why am I being chased by the tornado again? I didn't know this was gonna happen. You said run, I'm fucking running. Ooh. I'm like mostly running. Maybe. Oh shit! I am running the right direction. But my supplies are real. Okay, we got some pistol bullets. That's, um... <laughs> Woo! That was a nice try, Nightingale! Whoa! Oh, fuck! What the hell? Alright, use dodge to head. dodge enemy tags while on the ground. I can't fucking see! <sighs> he 
he threw me into the bushes. Who are you? You know who what I is am. this? Who are you? Hear me. I'm Saga Anderson, FBI. I can hear you. Cauldron Lake. Yes, I'm at Cauldron Lake. Where are you? I to escape. In danger. The dark presence. Danger. Thanks. Got it. Ah, oh, jeez. Well, Cauldron Lake's definitely far more intimidating in here. Hey! Alan? Are you okay? Oh, no! It's my fault! It got out with my face! Scratch! Sir, calm down. I'm gonna need you to take a breath. He's... He's changed the story. The d dark presence. We must stop it before... Easy now. First things first. What's your name? My name is Alan Wake. I'm a writer. I, I've been... Wake? Where did you come from? You've been missing for 13 years. <laughs> God. Hell of a thing to tell someone. 13. End of chapter. Well. At least he's out of the lake. Maybe. I don't fully know if we're out of the lake or if we're in an in-between layer after all of that. I was really hoping that they would do a recap about some of the stuff because like you have Alan Wake 1 and like you know I went through that in the remaster um, but you also had Alan Wake American Nightmare where stuff does happen involving like Mr. Scratch which was like his doppelganger and I think the story of it was that like the doppelganger gets out into the real world while Alan Wake was trapped inside the dark <laughs> the dark place Yeah, this song makes me feel really, really bad for Alan. Just how much did he, like, fully perceive in there? Because, like, Alan, from what we've seen, like, the bits and pieces, Alan, you know, was in and out in terms of, like, level of consciousness inside the dark place. Sometimes he was writing away in terms of his story, Sometimes he wasn't really sure what was going on. Sometimes he had forgotten what he was writing. You know, it was all over the place for him. But hey, you know what? Fuck it. He's out. We just have to uh, put the... <laughs> the dark presence back down. I hope that he he can run to Alice here. Alice is still alive, although from what we last heard, she's been having nightmares of seeing Alan. She might not be the happiest when she sees him, but who knows? He's got a lot to catch up on. At least it wasn't like 30 to 50 years or some shit. He didn't have to get full Captain America. -ed. 